Hey, hey! Welcome back, my friends, to the Master Ranger playthrough. Today, on episode 6, we go for the almighty. We try and make ourselves our ultimate pre-hard mode ranger loadout. And then we go for Deerclops and the Wall of Flesh. So yeah, big action-packed episode to come today, folks. But before doing anything, we've got the Queen Bee treasure bag to open up that we managed to obtain at the end of the last episode. So, boom! Oh, we got it first time rolling! Yeah! The bee's knees. Look at that. We've got the honeycomb accessory as well. Wow. We've got the baby hornet pet. Ha! <laughs> okay. And of course, bee nades. You gotta love bee nades, eh, folks? So then, ultimate pre-hard mode ranger loadout. I think for me, that is going to involve trying to get ourselves the lightning boots at minimum. We have spectre boots. We have the aglet for once. The thing we're missing is the anklet of the wind, of course. Additionally, getting ourselves a horseshoe balloon would be very, very nice. But we have been, well, what I would consider to be criminally unlucky in terms of not getting ourselves any kind of double jump accessory. Whether we're going to find one in today's episode remains to be seen. If we can, then we can make ourselves a horseshoe balloon, and that would be quite nice, actually. Getting ourselves the obsidian shield, I think, would be another thing to go for. So, yeah, like I say, plenty of things to be getting on with in today's episode. And I think what we might do is start off with the obsidian shield while we make our way down there. I do, of course, want to remind you folks that if you are enjoying the series and you want to continue seeing more, do be sure to head down beneath the video and spend a second to drop a like. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on my future content. Content. And if you do want to go on further with your support, of course, use code Python when ordering any of my Apex Gaming PCs for 5% off or for a whopping 15% off if you go for some Terraria merch from Terraria.shop instead. All right, floody, floody time. Time for a bunch of obsidian, I think. There are, of course, a couple of weapons we can get that are molten related, of course. We could get ourselves the beautiful Molten Fury if we really wanted to. We could also go for the Hellwing Bow from Shadow Chest. All right, very good. 235 bits of obsidian. That is way more than enough. <laughs> it's quite ridiculous, in fact. How's about we go ahead and make some of that into one of these bad boys, the Obsidian Skull. We push on up here and we make ourselves the Obsidian Shield. There it is. Beautiful. Two defense plus one. We could probably do a little bit better with that. Thank goodness for that. We're about to run out of money there. So there we go. Six defense and one accessory. That's not bad going if you ask me, folks. So that's one of our sort of semi super accessories done and dusted. The next one is going to be double jump. How we are going to achieve this, I've no idea. We could just go into the jungle and try and find ourselves sort of the regular non-shrine chest. Maybe we'll get lucky with some double jump over there. Maybe we just find ourselves another cave entirely and just find some more chests. I don't know, man. I mean, to be fair, I feel like going to the jungle might be in our best interests anyway. We haven't really explored a great deal of it. And, well, you can find a whole bunch of stuff over there. You know, not just chests, but life crystals as well. We still need three to get ourselves up to 400 health. All right. Two Spelunker potions. That's very, very good. And one mining potion. Well, this is about as far as we got in terms of exploring the jungle previously. So how's about we explore some more? We put this on we put this on oh my word i can see everything including not just one but two heart crystals yeah ah very good lots of stuff's going on here my friends look at this oh it's a boomstick <laughs> i'll tell you what else we could do we can get ourselves up to the pre-hard mode maximum of 400 health Beautiful. And we can then make our way over to that chest on our bottom right. Yeah, don't mind if I do, buddy. Uh, magic mirror. Darn it. Yeah, life crystals galore. Beautiful. We can now finally start using those for heart lanterns. Whoa. Not one, not two, but three chests in my view right now. <laughs> two shrines, one regular one. What do we got? It is the Staff of Regrowth. I am absolutely taking that. Excellent. What's this one got? Hermes boots. Okay. Oh, well, this isn't dangerous at all now, is it? Just a whole bunch of man-eaters guarding this chest. There better be something amazing in there. Boom. Oh, it's what we needed. <laughs> okay. Very, very good. Oh, nice. A bazaar. Yeah. 
love to see that thing. Oh, whole bunch of lizard-related stuff coming up here. So I think we're pretty safe to assume that the lizard temple is here. Of course. <laughs> another life crystal. And another life crystal. Yeah. Our arenas are going to get seriously buffed up now. There's a chest on my top left there. Another life crystal. <laughs> Oh, we're getting so many of them at this point. Holy crap. All right, what's this? Uh, shoe spikes. <sighs> ah, rat. Well, there goes my last Spelunker potion. But the good news is there is actually a shrine chest on my right hand side there. Okay. We're not quite throwing in the towel just yet, folks. If there's a fiber class fishing pole in here, I'm going to be super, super happy. All right. What do we got? Feral claws and some wands. I've just realized something, folks. Another goal we should have been going for is the void bag. And actually, I think I've already got enough jungle spores to be able to do that it's jungle spores tissue samples or shadow scales and bones right those are the three components required Ooh, random gold chest is it a trapped one no it's normal huh, okay huh i wonder if this little fairy here might just take me towards a chest. No, it's another life crystal. Darn it! Another gold chest just sort of out in the middle of nowhere. I don't see any explosives nearby. Ah, okay. But there's still no sign of a double jump. <laughs> You know what? I think I'm just about done exploring the jungle here. I've been doing it for a long time now, and I just don't feel like doing it anymore. So we've gone home. Unfortunately, we've still no double jump. <laughs> I can't believe it. How do we still not have double jump? That is absolutely ludicrous. So do you know what? Sod it. This game clearly doesn't want me to have a double jump and thus any sign of the beauty that is a horseshoe balloon. So, sorry, we're just going to let the game win, okay? We're going to go into hard mode without double jump and we're going to go straight for wings. We're going straight from having rocket boots to wings. That is definitely something that has not happened in an extremely long time, my friends, but... There you go. When the game wants so heavily for you not to have something, why deny it any further? All right, jungle spores, shadow scales, and bones. Yeah, I'm going to have to suggest that we don't have enough shadow scales. I don't know how many we actually need. 30. We need 30 shadow scales. Holy crap. Well, you know what that means then, don't you, folks? There we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Wow, we even managed to get the master mode drop from that guy. <laughs> That's not bad. 166 demonite ore as well. Absolutely beautiful. And more importantly, 63 shadow scales. I should have made the void bag while I was out there. Darn it! Wait, 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 wait. Are you seriously telling me I don't have a single lens in my world? What? Since when has that ever been the case in any of my worlds ever? Oh, jeez. Okay, maybe we could get lucky and get a Deerclops to spawn him naturally? <laughs> I don't know. For once in my life, Terraria, I'm going to have to say, please continue raining. Because so long as it's raining, it's also going to be blizzarding over at the snow biome, yes? So we get over there and we just sort of hang around. Maybe Deerclops will spawn in naturally. For once, I do want it to happen naturally. So, yeah. Is hoping. Oh, well, I guess I'll just go scream myself there. Turns out, according to the wiki, Deerclops can also spawn naturally at midnight. Once again, we have to wait for night time. Oh, what an absolute load of rubbish this is. So we're pretty much stuck until we have night time roll around here. Ah, uh, I guess we could use this time. Oh, I don't know. Explore the underground ice biome. Maybe we can get ourselves a blizzard in a bottle. So here we go. Down to the underground. Let's go find ourselves some more chests, shall we? Although, maybe what we should actually be doing is headed back to base, making ourselves a Spelunker potion, if at all possible, that is, and going at it that way. Alrighty, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The Void Bag, we finally have it. An entirely new inventory to work with. Alrighty, let's activate this thing and let's see if there's any chests to be had. Oh, turns out there is. Right here, in fact. Alright, what have we got? 
An ice blade. Ah, very good. Another ice chest above me. Hoping for a blizzard in a bottle. Come on, please. Blizzard in a bottle. Boom. Ah, another ice blade. Two webbed chests. I mean, they're kind of nice, but... Not what we're looking for, man. Ah, an ice chest on the other hand. Yeah. <laughs> okay, very, very good. Right, let's see if we can't open this bad boy. There we are. Wow, that was a lot of stuff in that one. Holy crap, holy. All right, well, here we are. Another ice chest and it's an extractinator. Come on now, Terraria. I've got a good feeling about this chest. Have you guys got a good feeling about this chest? I have. Let's have a look and see if our good feelings are going to amount to anything. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, baby! Oh! It's finally, 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 finally time! Oh my god! I feel like we were rolling around for quite some years trying to get some sort of bloody cloud in a bottle accessory, and we finally got it. So then, blizzard in a bottle, there's the balloon, there's the horseshoe. Ladies and gentlemen, finally, the white horseshoe balloon. The relief, the relief I'm feeling right now is on no known scale in the universe, my friends, trust me. Right, now, what we need to do is we need to start farming out some demon eyes. So I, I'm going to basically just sort of sit here. In fact, I think what I may do is I may try and increase the spawns here by adding in one of those beautiful water candle things. Hey, guys, check it out. A meteorite is falling. Excellent. That means I could go mine it and top up on my meteor shot supply. I wonder where it's landed this time, though. Last time it landed in a chasm in the corruption biome, so it's hoping it'll be in a slightly more easier to find space this time. Well, my friends, I never thought in a million years I would spend pretty much an entire night just farming eyeballs for lenses, but uh, here we are doing exactly that. We have wound up with... 10. Nice round number that. Love to see it. So let's just top up on a few arrows here. That is very, very nice. We'll stack away a bunch of stuffs. We'll sell all the bits and bobs we don't need. And then we'll be on our merry way, folks. Just to ensure our victory, though, I might just go ahead and take myself an archery potion. A little bit of regen. All right. One, two, three. Okay, we got three. That's very, very good. If we can get ourselves the eye bone pet, then we're pretty much good to go. I'm pretty sure there's one weapon you can get from Deer Clops that is a ranger weapon. I think it's the Pumatic Horn, I think it's called. So maybe we get lucky and get that bad boy. I mean, we do have three attempts at it. So, you know, the odds are probably in our favor. Oh, there's the meteor, right? Hey, very good. All right, I mean, that's probably about as far as we need to go. The deer clops boy has awoken. He's on the left. Come on, buddy. Get yourself over here, eh? Yes, slow son of a gun. Look at this guy. <laughs> you are another joke boss in this game, really. So let's just do this thing, shall we? All right. It's got to be the snowballs first, is it? Right. Of course, when it comes to this boss, it's all about getting the rhythm going. You go side to... Ow. You kind of go side to side until he shoots out his snowballs. Ideally, when he's over the far right-hand side here. Come on now. A uh, little bit of that. There's the snowballs again. Right. Now I feel like we can get into a bit of a rhythm. There we are. More snowballs. Yeah. I mean, need I say any more? This is easy street. Like, truly it is. Oh, good grief. Ooh, let's be careful, though. Yeah, now we got a rhythm, folks. Although he's getting faster and faster. And thus, it's slightly more difficult to... Uh, slightly more difficult to dodge. But no matter, because he's dead. All right, excellent. And we got ourselves the master mode drop. And we got ourselves the weather pane. I mean... Let's just do it again. And ladies and gentlemen, he's done again. Okay, beautiful. This time we've got a salt. Hey, there it is. The pneumatic horde, at the very least. Oh, getting a bit close for comfort. The ammo count versus this guy's health. Uh, but never mind. He's dead. Okay, brilliant. And this time... Oh. You know what? For once in our lives, we don't have the bone pet. Whatever it's called. <laughs> oh, dear. 
All right, never mind. I'm not really too fussed about it. I'm pretty happy that we got ourselves the uh, pneumatic horn at the very least. What does it even use? It uses meteorite shots. Hmm, not entirely sure I'm a big fan of that. All right, Tinker Boy. We have ourselves two gold to reforge this. That's, oh, that's really poor. Hey, Godly, that's a bit more like it. So, Deerclops is out of the way. And you know what that means, folks. It's time to go for the almighty. It's time for the wall of flesh. For the most part, I think what we're going to do is just use the Phoenix Blaster. This handgun already does 37 range damage. The Phoenix Blaster should hopefully do more. We need to get ourselves down to the underworld and we need to start grabbing ourselves a whole bunch of Hellstone. And yeah, in terms of what we can make with the Hellstone, pretty much just the Molten Fury and the Phoenix Blaster. Nothing else I don't think is even going to go to look in. Maybe the Lava Proof Bug Net though. Anyway, Obsidian Skin Potion is what I'm looking for. There we are. We grab ourselves, I'm going to say two of them. And then yeah, I think we're pretty much good to go. Time to get to the Underworld, I think my friends. Let's do it. You know what? I'm kind of thinking for once in my life, I'm going to do this sort of all in one. If I was to take the anvil with me. Obviously, we're going to pick up a Hellforge while we're down there. We need to take ourselves down a bunch of obsidian, and I'm going to bring all the buffs needed for the Wall of Flesh, or what I consider to be needed for the Wall of Flesh. Alrighty, I think I've got all the bits and bobs on me. Let's get to the underworld. Let's do this thing. We're looking to get some gear first, and then pretty much go straight for the Wall of Flesh straight away. Alrighty, well, that wasn't too difficult, my friends. All we got to do now is start grabbing a bunch of stuff. Although, with that said, do we want to also explore these shadow chests? Maybe we can get ourselves the Hellwing Bow? Uh, Dark Lance, not really what we're looking for, but still kind of cool nonetheless to sell. Uh, what do we got here? The Flame Lash. Again, not that useful. Alrighty, time to grab some Hellstone, folks. Let's get this thing rolling. Oh, yeah. Molten Pickaxe. We could probably do with that as well if we wanted to get hard mode materials, hey? Beautiful. There's the Hellforge. Love to see it. Oh, nice. Obsidian Rose. <laughs> That's only, what, the third firing, according to my tally counter there. That's not bad going. All right. No! I just pressed the wrong button on my mouse! I just used all of my bloody buffs! Hey, then! What are you doing? Jeez, man. Why am I so bloody stupid? There's the Phoenix Blaster. Oh, I'm actually annoyed at myself. I'm so bloody annoyed at myself with that. That's not okay. Because I don't have a elevator and it's going to be an absolute pain in the ass to get back down here again. All right, a few more Hellstone bars. What can we make now? There is indeed the Molten Fury. We've got ourselves the Molten Pickaxe, of course, there as well. We'll go for the Molten Pickaxe just so we've, you know, got it done and dusted, I guess. Uh, but yeah, let's continue getting some more of this Hellstone stuff, shall we? We still need, I think it was the bug net and also the Molten Fury, of course. So yeah, Molten Fury, I think, was 15 bars. And my anvil has disappeared. Oh. <laughs> This has turned into a disaster session! Yay! I'm going insane. I'm going insane. I'm going insane. Calm yourself, I think. Come on now. Accidentally used all of my wall of flesh buffs. My anvil went bye-bye because of the lava. I thought it might have actually stayed there because, you know, it's metal. Ugh. Just, ugh. What's in here? Oh, the Hellwing bow. Okay, I mean, that's kind of cool, I guess. <sighs> Come on, Python, you got the wrong mindset right now. You're in a ragey mindset. You need to stop. You need to be in a nice positive mindset going into the Wall of Flesh battle, don't you? Yes, you do. Alrighty, Obsidian Skin Potion about to run out, but no worries because I think we're just about done here for now until we go back down there to defeat the Wall of Flesh because... I made a lot of mistakes and I should have done it the first time rolling, but no, apparently I'm stupid. So, yeah, at least I had the foresight to pick up a Hellforge. <sighs> I mean, that's not nothing, I guess. Uh, right, can we get ourselves another anvil? Yes, we can. Let's place that bad boy down and let's get ourselves the rest of the Hellstone upgrade, shall we? What do we got? 40 bars on the dot. What we're looking for, of course, is the Molten Fury. There it is. Absolutely beautiful. What about the bug net? Where is the bug net? There it is. Okay, beautiful. All right. In terms of upgrades, not doing too bad. In terms of me being stupid, we're doing very bad. Okay. Obsidian skin. 
Oh, for God's sake. It's just one thing after a bloody another at the moment. Can we, like, stop running out of things and stop having, like, little bits and bobs getting my way constantly? That'd be great. I'd appreciate it. And yes, I know, I know, before you say, I do have an alchemy station and I'm not using it because, well, I don't have any space for it at the moment. So, yeah. All right, it looks like we've got three things to reforge here. Uh, nope, the pickaxe can stay as it is. That's totally fine. Wow, this thing is incredibly cheap to reforge. There is no reason why we can't get ourselves something very, very good. Come on now. Powerful? That's minus speed. Ruthless? Minus knockback? That's sod it. We'll go for it. That's four gold. And this is out. Six gold. Oh, ruthless again. Wow. That's not bad, is it? Intimidating, lethargic, sighted. Ah, sod it. Alright, we'll go for it. What about reforges on our accessories? Maybe the horseshoe balloon. Oh, menacing. Very good. Uh, violent shield of Cthulhu. We could probably do with something a little bit better than that. A couple more defense. That's not too bad. Magiluminescence. Guarding again. We've got 34 defense plus whatever our food is going to give us. And, of course, iron skin. Woo! Alright, let's get down to the underworld. Let's see if we can do this thing, folks. Real quick, I'm going to do what I usually do and just sort of open up these houses as I go along so I don't get, you know, stuck on them. And then, yeah, I feel like then we'll be truly ready for this thing. I mean, obviously, we do still need to get ourselves the little voodoo doll thing as well. So that's something we need to do. Come on now. I'm going to be needing one of those voodoo demons to spawn in sometime soon. And then, yeah, we can get on with this thing. Anytime now, game, eh? Anytime now? Voodoo demon, please? Anytime now. This is taking ages. If you can't tell, I'm starting to get a little bit deflated now. Ever since I had that big old mistake period earlier in the episode. Yeah, I'm just kind of fed up. I just want something to go right. Finally. Right. Got to be very, very careful here. Do not want to have this accidentally fall in the lava. There we go. Go Voodoo Doll is done and dusted. We have maximum health done and dusted. Let's get ourselves over to the far right hand side of the world. And let's have the wall of flesh done and dusted. We are going to use the Phoenix Blaster for the most part. So bada bing bada boom. And in you go. Ladies and gentlemen. Let's start off with some of these bad boys shall we? You know the old classic. Gotta love the old classic don't you? Bee needs. And um, we've already run out. Okay right. Now it's time to get on with some Stuff, some stuff of things, my friends. Already down to 12,000 health. What a bad little start, if you ask me. We don't have to worry about lava. We don't have to worry about fall damage. We just have to worry about dwindling this guy's health down like an absolute professional. And obviously dodging the freaking lasers and all that. In fact, let's get rid of the mini-map there. There we are. Now we can see what we're doing. Yeah, baby. All right. Ideally, what I'd like to do is get this thing done before we start hitting the houses. We're already down to under half health. Wow. Absolutely wrecking shot here. I did switch out my tiger climbing gear for the beauty that is the worm scarf. We don't want to be, you know, giving up on that bad boy. No way, in fact. All right, here we go. 3,000 health. 2,500. 2,000. Oh, yeah. A little bit of health here. 1,800. Come on. Ah, oh, keep it going now. Keep it going now. Oh, this is easy. 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 Like I say, Necro Armor plus the Phoenix Blaster. It's a cheat code in this game. Holy crap. Holy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's brought my mood back. And that is time to wrap up the episode as well. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I can't believe we just did that. If you have enjoyed today's episode, please do be sure to drop a like at the subscribe button, of course. And don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on my future content. But here we are, episode 6, and we're already beginning hard mode. That is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> but there you go, my friends. Necro armor, pre-hard mode ranger loadout, and the Phoenix blaster. What else can I say other than it really is legitimately a cheat code in this game. It's so dumb. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for all of your lovely support. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.